Good morning, church family. We are continuing Genesis, and we're, today we're going to look at some family lines and uh, see what God has written for us. Bless you today. As we continue in our series in Genesis, today I want to jump a little bit to Genesis chapter 5. And uh, in Genesis 5, we get to see the, the account, the written account of Adam's family line. And I'm jumping there before heading into chapter 4. It's a list of the genealogy, the the family tree. I'm jumping there because I think it's helpful uh, to see who this family is, uh, to understand the family uh, connections. And I've put together um, a, a, a diagram here, a uh, pictorial representation of the first family of, of Adam and Eve. And maybe that will be helpful to you, uh, this picture, as you read. Uh, chapter 5. Now, for many people, reading Genesis chapter 5, it's just a long list. Um, but keep in mind that these are people, these are uh, family names. And I'm aware of cultures uh, across the world where they continue to pass down family names, who was born of whom and whom was born of, of that person. Um, there's some wonderful names and I'm sure there's some wonderful stories behind each of these families. Adam and Eve had, as far as we know, at least three sons, but they probably, and as the scripture does seem to indicate, had more sons and daughters. But their children were Cain and Abel and Seth. And uh, I've drawn up the line from Cain here, um, obviously because Abel was killed and there's no record at least that we know of of any children uh, that came from Abel uh, such is the tragedy of life living outside of God's will we live in the fall and the very real consequences for our sin that when Abel was killed and as far as we know he had no children to carry on his line um, so what do we know of these of these people well Adam um, it's actually from the Hebrew, uh, the Hebrew word red, or from the ground. Yesterday I was digging in the garden, at one of my passions, and uh, yeah, we have red soil here in Hawaii, and uh, you can see that red, it gets everywhere. Um, had at least three sons, you can see Genesis 5, 4. Eve, her name also from the Hebrew, it was a name given by Adam. Adam named her and it means life giver. Abel or Abel, uh, it means breath. And uh, as we continue to study Genesis, we'll learn that he was a man who relied not on his own works. Great example of Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. He relied not on his own works, but faith as a basis of acceptance with God. Cain, uh, if you want to note this, uh, well, it literally means a smith, a smith or spear. We think of a, a blacksmith, uh, someone who crafts things, and he was the, well, he was the firstborn of the of the human race outside of the Garden of Eden. So he had had prominent place, prominent place indeed, the firstborn. Um, he was a tiller of the ground. But he also has this title. He was the first murderer. That's uh, quite a title to have. Um, neither his temper nor his offering were acceptable to the Lord. And as we uh, look at his life, we'll see that he had no adequate sense of sin, no adequate need for atonement. Didn't feel like he needed to be atoned for um, he offered works from his hands instead of a faith as a basis of acceptance with God. And he then becomes a, a fugitive. Uh, quite the storyline for the first born of the human race outside of the Garden of Eden. 
So th those are the main two characters there, Cain, Adam and Eve, Cain and Abel. Um, Seth became a father at, uh, as we see, at 105. Uh, that's quite a whole uh, child, at least from our perspective. And he died at 912 years old. So he was a, a father for, what's that, 807 years old. Uh, 807 years. Um, if you read widely, you'll see that some will emphasize that Seth means uh, appointed uh, or put in place. Um, who would who, he's appointed for what or put in the place put, put in the place of Abel um, uh, other commentators will focus more on the idea of his name meaning a, a seedling or a, a, a germ uh, not a bad germ but you know germination is a seed so two different takes on on Seth there uh, Enoch uh, his name means dedicated or uh, initiated uh, great name for a for a child uh, back in England uh, was quite a, a common name uh, in more Christian areas um, now Enoch's father Cain uh, was was Cain and uh, he gave uh, Cain gave Enoch's name to a city he built so the city of Cain and this city was the first built in the Bible. Um, Irad or Irad, uh, Irad, uh, what does that mean? Um, means uh, fleet, uh, quick, uh, if you will. But it actually comes from the root, meaning a wild donkey. Not much else known about him. Uh, next, Mahujael, Mahujael, uh, not much else, else known, but it means smitten smitten by God. Uh, Methushael is uh, another interesting uh, name. Methushael um, means a man who is of God. And uh, who else do we have? Lamech. Uh, that name means powerful. And he was actually the first recorded, first recorded to practice polygamy. Um, he was uh, one who killed, uh, like his uh, forefather before him, um, and he was the first person to give self-defense uh, in killing a man for wounding him. And uh, but he also killed a boy who struck him, so he suddenly got into trouble. Um, it's possible that Lamech used his son's. Uh, that's Tubal Cain, that he used his son's instruments for weaponry. Tubal Cain was one who, who made uh, uh, metal instruments. Now, where Cain uh, killed one, Abel, Lamech killed two. So let's just be clear on that. Cain killed one, Lamech two. Now, even if Lam uh, Lamech had an apparent excuse, uh, there's still the issue that he killed two. But what he does do, Lamech, is he calls on God for protection. And he calls on him for protection in comparison to Cain's intentional murder. So I think a lot of uh, modern law has come out of, out of this. Adar, uh, Adar would be the, the mother, uh, the wife of Lamech, and... Her name means ornament or, or beauty, and she was the mother of Jabal and Jubal. Uh, Zilla means shade, and she was the mother of Tubal, Cain, and Naama. Uh, Jabal uh, means stream of water, and he was a father of those who dwelt in tents and, and have cattle. And Jubal. Uh, his name similarly uh, stream uh, now he was the uh, inventor of as we know uh, according to the Bible the inventor of musical instruments uh, Tubal Cain what an interesting name thou will be brought of Cain 
Tubal Cain, uh, and he was the, as we said earlier, first worker in metal. Well, assuming that Jubal did not himself work in metal, and then Naama, uh, which we briefly mentioned earlier, sweetness, uh, pleasantness, loveliness. What a wonderful name for a for a daughter, Naama. Um, now I'm going to finish up today. Uh, again, today was really just to give you the family connections. Um, they become important, so I've given it to you now. But I want to finish with uh, two photographs of brothers. Um, and think, think of Cain and Abel. Now here's the first picture. This is uh, two boys. Uh, got this off the internet. Um, um, could be Thailand, Laos, Vietnam, I'm not sure. Uh, which of those southeastern Asian countries? Um, it's clear that the two boys are actually of uh, different schools. One's got a red tie on. One's got a blue badge. Same shorts. Uh, I love that the fact that this elder boy is sheltering his younger friend or brother. It's a beautiful picture of the, these boys walking to school it, uh, to me it shows uh, the love of of two brothers it really does that now there's another picture here which i again managed to get off the internet and uh, <laughs> interestingly enough it's uh, some movie uh, could be tamil or indian i'm not sure uh, christian brothers uh, uh, to me, this picture shows kind of the opposite of those two boys. In fact, the caption here is, wait for the storm. Um, none of these men here look like they really want to love each other. I never saw the movie. I don't know what it's about. Um, but you, you can just see in these faces, uh, the, the director, the producers are trying to portray something about these men uh, that is stormy, tempestuous and... Uh, that's part of the issue that Cain and Abel had. So quick review today of, of the family connections. Hope you've enjoyed that just brief overview. Um, how are you with your brothers and sisters? When it comes to relationships with our brothers and, brothers and sisters, whether that's our uh, blood family or our church family, or even just people who live on your same road as you, um, how are you operating with them? Uh, are you relying on your own works, um, your own way of doing things? Or are you uh, living by faith? Um, uh, I pray that you're living by faith, uh, trusting God, how to operate in any and every situation. Just ask the Lord, how, how should I operate? Cain was a man who um, remained closed and uh, I pray that you'll remain open. Bless you today as you consider these, these family members. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.